So the Meat Lab started in 1918 here on the campus of Iowa State University. Our original facility is still standing today, now known as the Farm Bureau Pavilion. Our current facility opened in 1977 as a USDA inspected facility. So we operate under USDA guidance during all, all hours of operations. We, our mission here is for teaching, research, and extension. We're fully functional, we harvest beef, pork, sheep, and goats. When we were asked to start this program, the first thing we did was we started to file our plan with the USDA to reopen. We have guidelines from USDA for operating during COVID. We also have the university guidelines that we had to operate under. So we spent probably close to a month preparing all those documents, making sure we felt we could operate safely during that time. And then of course, working with our staff and making sure they felt safe to come back and work. We felt since we have a federally inspected plant that, that we needed to, to get involved um, with that program to do our part in helping some of the situations that were created by COVID-19. This was also an opportunity to teach beyond the science and the theories and, and help our students understand how you become a leader in your community, how we uh, step up to the plate when we have people in need. So in a normal year, we would probably process somewhere around 30 to 40 head of beef in an entire year. Uh, probably 80 head of pigs uh, in an entire year. With this program, we, we harvested close to 100 head of beef and probably 50 head of pigs. Also, we have processed thousands and thousands of pounds of ground product from trim that we purchased from meat packing plants here in Iowa. One of the things that our students should have learned across the entire campus is how reliant we are in the animal agriculture industry to supply protein to the nation. What this allowed us to do was to have lots of product in our lab where students were getting a whole bunch of hands-on. They were serving Iowans, uh, and then they got to have, be a part of the extension, which was get that food out, get it to the food pantries, get it in the hands and feed so many of our neighbors. And so it, it allows them to see it from, from pasture to the plate, and just a tremendous opportunity to, to really bolster not only what we were doing in the lab, but to allow the students and the faculty and staff to interact on something that was for the greater good.